Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Now today I'll be doing a collab with one of my gorgeous, beautiful friends on here, Lails. Her channel is called Call Me Lails. She does amazing makeup looks and she always looks like a million bucks, you guys. Like every time I see her, she's always glammed up and she looks so amazing. She's a kind person, she's super sweet. She does fantastic hauls and reviews vlogs you name it she does it all so go check her out of course i will leave all her links in the description box below so go show her some love and tell her that sean sent you of course and subscribe to her as well thumbs up her video and if you want to see how i achieved my gorgeous valentine's day look keep on watching don't forget to subscribe thumbs up and follow all my social media handles see ya Mwah. Okay, doll, so the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face with this Revlon Photo Finish Primer. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use my RCMA powder just to, you know, take away the shininess and the oiliness when I apply my foundation. Using powder before your foundation is a great way to control the oils and it will allow your foundation to last much longer on your skin. And I've been using this technique for a while and I really like the results because it does help to keep my oils at bay and my foundation looks flawless throughout the day. So for my foundation, I'll be using the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid and I really like this foundation. It gives me such a nice finish. It may look a bit yellow, but once I highlight and contour, it's gonna look amazing on my skin and I really, really like this foundation. So I've done my brows off camera just to save time. I will have a video coming up on how I do my brows. So what I'm going to do now is apply some powder underneath my eyes just to catch the fallout from the glitter that I'll be using later on. And here comes my dance scene. I'm just enjoying myself, you guys. You have to enjoy yourself when you're doing anything in life. Otherwise, there's no point doing it. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to use from the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette is called Ada and I'm going to blend that into my crease area in the inner corners and outer corners. And as you can see, I started off with a small amount. I'm going to add more as I go along and I'm blending back and forth because I want it to look very much blended. basically going for today is some halo eyes so I'm just going to leave that space in the middle because I'm going to add my shadow and my glitter on there Okay guys, so for the center part of my lid, I'm gonna go ahead and add the shade called Dahia. Baby, you can count on me. 
So now I'm going to blend Dahia in with Ada because I want it to be very seamless. So in order for my glitter to stay intact, I'll be using this front cover glitter glue and I'm going to apply that right in the center where I've applied the eyeshadow and that's just going to act as a base for my glitter. I'm so sorry guys I forgot where I got this glitter from but it's so beautiful it's like multicolored holographic it looks red in the container but when you apply it it's just so beautiful you'll see as I apply it Okay, so in order for everything to be meshed together, I'm going to apply some shadow into my crease and also on the outer corners where the glitter meets the eyeshadow because I want everything to look as if they're all nicely tied in together and I don't want any harsh lines. So of course, I'm gonna be blending my whole life away. So time for a little bit of intensity. I'm going to be using those two shades from the Morphe 25A palette and I'm going to apply that on the outer corners and work it into my crease area because we want it to look more sultry. So make sure you blend guys, blending is key, I cannot stress this enough, make sure that you blend and everything looks seamless and what I'm going to do now is apply some brow bone highlight from the same Morphe 25A palette. <laughs> Okay, so I've applied my lashes and my winged liner off camera just to save some time because it does take a while sometimes. I'm not kidding you. It does take me a long while sometimes, you guys, to apply my lashes. And I didn't want to take up your time, so I did that all off camera. <laughs> Okay, so using my favorite highlighter, which is the Jenny Jenkins collab with Black Up Cosmetics, I'm just going to pop that shade on the top of my cheeks and blend it out. You guys, this is such a perfect shade for women of color, and I love this highlighting palette so much. I cannot tell you, you will have to see this in person to actually believe the glow and how beautiful it is. Whenever your heart is 
Okay, so the first shade I'm going to apply on my lips is from the LA Girls Flat Finish Pigment and it's in the shade Rebel and I'm just going to outline my lips and then in the middle I'm going to add LA Splash Lip Couture in, I will leave it somewhere on the screen guys, I cannot find the name and then I'm going to top that off with LA Colors Brilliant Shine Glitter Gloss. Alright, so this is a finished look guys. I do hope you like it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check out Lil's channel as well. It will be in the description box below. Give her video a thumbs up and I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.